Now, after this, there are few uh, chemical properties of phenol that we have to discuss, in which again there are reactions only. Name reactions are there basically. Okay. So you see the next one we have that is the properties of phenol. Chemical properties. So next one you see, I'll write down here. Chemical properties of phenol. Chemical properties is nothing but the chemical reactions involved in this method. The first reaction we have is formation of formation of ester. How ester forms from phenol. Okay. For this, we take sodium phenoxide. Okay. And sodium phenoxide we can prepare from phenol. Suppose the reaction is this phenol, and when it is heated with NaOH, in this reaction, H2O goes out and will get sodium phenoxide, which is ONA plus H2. This is the reaction we have. Okay. Now, this sodium phenoxide is allowed to react with, we can use acid chloride for this purpose. Acid chloride. Or we can also use acetic anhydride. Both we can use. We will see the both reaction. So when this acid sodium phenoxide is allowed to react with acid chloride or anhydride, it forms phenolic ester. Okay. Acid chloride is what? Acid chloride is nothing but CS3, C double bond O, Cl. This is acid chloride. Anhydride is nothing but CS3, CO, hold twice. This is anhydride. Okay. Now this reaction, the reaction with anhydride, it takes place in acidic medium. Okay, that is for that purpose we are using concentrated H2SO4. The medium of the reaction is this. For this, the medium of the reaction is pyridine. The medium of the reaction is pyridine. Solvent we use, right? Now you see how the reaction we have over here. Suppose I am taking first acid chloride. Okay. So how the reaction takes place in acid chloride. Okay. So we have sodium phenoxide, which is ONA on the benzene ring. ONA. And when it is allowed to react with acid chloride, which is Cl, C double bond O, CH3. And the solvent we are using is pyridine. It gives NaCl and oxygen attached with C double bond O CS3 plus an A C. This is what the reaction is. This is phenyl acetate. The name of this compound is phenyl acetate. The general name is phenolic ester. The general name is phenolic ester. Another reaction with anhydride we'll see. For the reaction of anhydride, we can also take OH here, phenol directly. And when it is heated with CS3C double bond O, OC double bond O, CH3 with concentrated H2SO4, it gives 
the same compound here which is uh, OC double bond O CH3 plus we'll get CH3 COOH some other compound right so acetic anhydride we are using here acetic anhydride and we are getting phenyl acetate phenolic ester in this molecule okay so what happens in this this H plus comes over here right and oxygen will have the positive charge on it and finally this positive charge takes this bond pair of electron goes out as CH3COOH okay so we'll get a acyl carbocation here we'll have the positive charge on this carbon so this lone pair of this oxygen attacks onto this carbon behaves as a nucleophile attacks onto this carbon and we'll get O C double bond O C S three O H will have here oxygen will have the positive charge on it. Now to stabilize this positive charge, H plus comes out and we'll get this phenyl acetate. Okay, so this is the method of preparation of esters we have from phenol acid chloride we can use or we can also use anhydride. Okay, so now this reaction we have already done. Now another thing which is important over here is like I'll write down the note, one note you must write down here. And the point is the phenolic acids phenolic esters on heating with on heating with ALCL3 ALCL3 gives ortho or and para acyl phenol ortho and para acyl phenol this rearrangement of acyl group at ortho and para position actually what happens this is acyl group this group rearrange itself at ortho and para position this rearrangement we call it as price rearrangement this is known as known as fries rearrangement so fries rearrangement is the rearrangement of acyl group of phenolic esters in at ortho and para position when it is heated with ALCl3, right? The solvent we are using is carbon disulfide. For this purpose, the solvent is carbon disulfide. So you see this reaction, how this reaction goes. Suppose I'll write down the general uh, term here, which is the phenolic esters, and uh, which is nothing but this molecule. We have O C O R. This is phenolic ester. Now this R can be aliphatic or aromatic. Both possibility we have. R can be aliphatic or aromatic. Means phenyl group C stage five. Now when it is heated with Anhydrous AlCl3, anhydrous AlCl3 in CS2, carbon disulfide solvent. Okay. The product we get here is the product we get here is OH and here we have COR plus OH and COR. 
Now, this reaction is temperature dependent reaction. Right? Depends upon depends on temperature, what temperature you are taking. Both product can be the major product depending upon the temperature of the reaction. Like at low temperature, right, this product is the major product. Major product at low temperature. Low temperature means the temperature should be less than 100 degrees Celsius. This is the major product at high temperature. Means the temperature is greater than 100 degree Celsius. Okay. So this reaction is temperature dependent reaction. Depending upon the temperature, you will get the major or minor product in the reaction. Correct. Now, you see the mechanism of this reaction. O C O R. Anhydrous AlCl3 is a Lewis acid. Electron pair accepted. And that is why the lone pair present on oxygen molecule, this lone pair is accepted by AlCl3 and it forms O. COR will be as it is and here we have Al Cl3 minus because it accepts lone pair of electron and this will have positive charge. Okay. Now in the next step what happens this COR comes out. Okay. Leaving this electron pair behind COR comes out. This one. So minus C double bond O R plus and with AlCl3 minus Cl minus also comes out okay on heating. So it forms a ring with O Al Cl2. Now this uh, Acyl carbocation, this one, C double bond O, R plus, this behaves as an electrophile and the pi electron of benzene ring takes this electrophile. It attacks over here and this will attach onto the benzene ring like this. O, L, C, L, 2, C, O, R. We have hydrogen here positive charge on this carbon atom, these two bond will be as it is. Right? Now, to gain aromaticity, this H plus comes out and this H plus leaving this bond pair of electron behind so that the aromaticity of the molecule is uh, achieved. And this H plus combines with Cl minus forms HCl. So, the product here is OAL Cl2, COR plus HCl. In the last step, in H2O, AlCl3 goes out and it forms OH on the top and COR at ortho position. Okay? So this is the ortho acyl phenol ortho substituted product same kind of mechanism we have at para position the only thing is here this pi electron comes over here and this attacks onto this carbocation and we will get the product okay
So same kind of mechanism we can draw for para position. Got it? If para position is occupied, then we only get ortho substitutive product. Okay. If para position is occupied, then we only get ortho substituted product. One note I'll write down here. If para position is occupied, we get only ortho product. We get only ortho product. So this reaction is Fry's rearrangement reaction. The reagent used is anhydrous AlCl3 okay, in CS2 solvent, okay, carbon disulfide. Okay. There are a few more reactions in this. There are name reactions like cold schemic reaction. We have rhymer diamond reaction. Okay. So all these reactions we'll see in the next session. Thank you.